Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be making chicken thinga. This is very easy to make. It's a spicy chicken dish that I like to use for tostadas or tacos. Very easy and delicious. Okay, to start, I'm going to be using two chicken breasts. These are boneless skinless and it weighs a little over a pound. I'm going to add some oil, I'm using grapeseed oil, teaspoon of salt-free lemon pepper, one teaspoon of seasonal seasoning salt, you could just use salt, a half teaspoon of Mexican oregano, a teaspoon of garlic powder, teaspoon of onion powder. Now just get in with your clean hands and kind of mix everything up. Okay, so now I'm going to put it on a baking sheet. And I'm going to put them kind of close together like this. See how the end is thinner than this part? So I'm gonna kind of overlap it. Kind of the same thing. And I'm going to bake this at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 to 20 minutes. This is me trying not to burn myself. Okay, so my chicken is done. So now what I'm going to do is cover it with another baking sheet and let it rest. Okay, so for the sauce, I'm going to be using four cleaned and pre-soaked guajillo chiles. And basically what I did is remove the stems, the seeds, gave it a rinse, and boiled it in water for about three minutes, then turn off the heat and let it steep until softened. These are very soft and pliable. I also have one tomato and two cloves of fresh garlic. I will also be using chicken bouillon powder. This is the Nor brand. I'm also using two chipotle chilies in adobo sauce. You could definitely add a whole can of chipotle chilies if you want, but I can't handle way too much spice, but this is two with maybe a tablespoon of the sauce that came in the can. And I will be using a cup and a half of water. Now you'll just want to add all those ingredients to your blender. By the way, I don't really like using the steeping liquid or the boiling liquid from the guajillo chilies because I find that it tastes bitter, but you know, do what you like. So now I'm going to blend it. Okay, so now that this is blended, I'm going to set aside until I need it. Okay, so I'm preheating my pan. I'm going to add around a tablespoon and a half of oil. Okay, now I'm going to add one small onion that I have thinly sliced. And you're going to want to saute. I'm going to add a little bit of salt, cracked pepper, and you're going to saute well until the onions have softened and are translucent. Now that the onions are sauteed, I am going to add the puree. Now I'm just going to gently simmer and let it reduce for the course of over 10 to 15 minutes. While the sauce is simmering, I'm going to start chopping the chicken. For those of you that like shredded chicken, go for it. I prefer chopped chicken. Uh, over the texture or stringiness of shredded. And by the way, take a look at how juicy this chicken is. Can you see that? I mean, tender, moist. Mm. Okay, chicken is all chopped and ready for my sauce. So now I'm going to add the chicken. And be sure to taste your sauce for seasoning or salt. If you feel like it needs more salt, then add it. Now I'm just going to give this a mix. Okay, so once you've tasted it for seasoning and salt, and it has simmered for another three to five minutes, 
this is ready to serve. Serve this on tostadas with shredded lettuce or cabbage, some cotija cheese, Mexican crema, and this is also great for tacos as well. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.